Welcome to the Tuesday, January the 3rd, 2023 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let committee members and staff introduce themselves. Martha Smirsky, member. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett, member. Ben, you have to unmute yourself. Benjamin Cheney. Yeah, Benjamin Cheney, staff. I mean, what am I? I'm a member, sorry. You got me all confused. <laughs> You're in Australia time, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will let staff, Meredith in particular, review the remote meeting procedures. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. All right. And there we go. Um, so a lot of the screen here is for anybody who's uh, watching over Orca Media, but there's some points here for anybody who's on remotely as well to pay attention to. Um, so for anyone who is viewing this meeting tonight of the design review committee meet, design review committee over orca media um, you can participate in tonight's meeting via the zoom platform to do that you can either type this into your web browser and it should bring you right into the meeting and then i'll let you into this particular zoom room or you can call this phone number and put in this meeting id when prompted um, if you're having any issues getting into the meeting, you can email me at mcrandall at montpelier-vt.org, and I will be monitoring my email throughout the meeting. Um, please note for those who are attending via Zoom that we're going to, that turning on your video is optional. We do ask that you remain muted when you aren't speaking. This helps reduce background noise. Um, and for those of you who have called in over the phone, you can use star six to mute or unmute yourself. Um, we ask that you use the Zoom chat function only for troubleshooting or logistics questions. Um, if you have you know, comments on a particular application, please make sure to do that verbally over the um, Zoom function. And so far tonight, we just have a committee member and the two application representatives on remotely. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, in the event the public is unable to access this meeting, it will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I'll now hand the meeting back over to the chair. At this point, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? Um, I'll move to approve the agenda. This is Martha. I'll, I'll second it. All in favor of approval, approval of the agenda, speak your names. Martha. Steve? Ben. 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 The agenda is approved. At this point, unless anyone has anything else to offer, we can go to the first application for 147 Main Street. Owner Applicant Endeavors, Inc. Change of assigned panel. Would the applicant like to describe their application? Hi, good evening. Can everyone hear me? It's Michael Drake. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, keeping it briefly, um, we have the existing restaurant, the social, and the Inn and Montpelier space. I'm also the property owner. Um, we are changing the menu and focus of the restaurant, and in doing so, a new name that uh, emphasizes that and our head chef, Dave Penzo. Um, so we are before the committee today to request changing the current social sign that hangs out in front of the property underneath the Inner Montpelier sign with the new Penzo pizza sign. Um, it is the exact same material as the existing social sign. It is slightly smaller by about 10% than the social sign. Um, no changes to lighting or any other new changes to signage properties, just literally changing out that existing uh, hanging sign beneath the Enna Montpelier sign. Michael, when do you anticipate making the change to the restaurant? Uh, so we're currently uh, painting dining rooms and such. Uh, we closed the socials dine-in after the uh, fall season. So we're hoping to open in uh, right around Feb 1st for dine-in again for patrons. Okay.
Do any members have any additional questions, comments, or suggestions? Um, I have no problem with the change in the sign. I did notice, Michael, though, the last time I went by there, we had recommended that you put toppers on the top of your posts on your sign. Um, and I hadn't seen those caps yet. Are, are they there yet? Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am, they are. Actually, if you look at the, the cut sheet, you'll see that's a new photo and the caps are on top of those posts. Yay. They look great. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for bringing they that blend up. They're They're painted the, the same, same color, but yes. Yeah, they look good, Michael. <laughs> thank you. I just want to say I had the same comment and question, so thank you for bringing that up, Martha. Okay, if no one has anything else to add at this point, we can go through the criteria. This, there's a set of criteria for signs in the design control overlay district. Number one, the size, location, design, color, texture, lighting, and material of all exterior designs within the design review district shall be compatible with the buildings and structures of the site and surrounding properties. That's acceptable. If a building has multiple tenants, there shall be consistency in the placement and size among all signs. That's acceptable. Sign, design, color, and typography shall respect historic precedents where appropriate and shall be the appropriate scale for existing and new buildings ex acceptable. Sign support structures shall be compatible with a building architecture and, and must not be overly complex or dominant in and of themselves acceptable. Unless anyone else has anything to add Again, speak your names if you are in favor of the application. Uh, this is Martha. I say yes. Ben, ben says yes. And Steve says yes. So it's approved. Three in favor, none opposed. Um, so, Michael, because there haven't been any yes, adjustments or recommendations on this form, um, you don't need to sign anything else. We will get that permit issued and mailed out to you as soon as possible. Great. Thank you very much, everyone. Appreciate your time. You need Thank your you. signature on Nope, that. because he didn't. Okay. Because he's remote. We haven't yep. been insisting on that if you don't make recommendations. Okay. Have a great night, Michael. Thank you very much and good luck with your new project. Thank you. Take care. You too. The next application is for 89 Main Street, owner Doug Netty and Janice, Janice or Janice Larrabee Review for the yeah. new wall side. Yeah, that spacing got a little weird in the printed out version. Sorry about that. Okay, no, that's okay. Uh, so we have Trisha on for that. Okay. You want to unmute yourself, Trisha? There you Hello. Go. go ahead and describe your application. Okay, so we're looking to um, add signage to the out front of the um, building at the city center. Uh, there is not one currently there. I think it used to be the Edward Jones investment. And we're looking to change that um, area into a salon. And how are you proposing your sign? So it, we're looking to do, um, it looks like a 44 inch by 22 inch. I think you guys have the picture of it. I just hope it's the current one because at first we were going more like circle, but you guys had advised to go more rectangle because all the other signs in the building were in fact mm -hmm. rectangle. Um, so we did uh, change that out. I just wanted to make sure you guys have the right one. Mm -hmm. Yep, we gave them the most recent image with the, the rectangle with the where you did the um, photos showing what it is on the building and with mm -hmm. the, like you said, the 44 inches by 22 inches. Okay, perfect. And what is the material? Oh, um, they did not tell us uh, yet what we were able to use. I think we were just using, it's the same, the person who's making our signages is the same person who did all the rest for the building. Um, so we just told them to copy the same material that it was used. I'm not entirely sure what it is, though. 
I, I think it's it's actually on um, number seven. It, yeah, it's on the the application. You go ahead. Steve. Okay. No, I, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the sign it says the sign is made from wood and painted black, gold, and sage green. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay. Okay. And. I understand that you didn't, you're not proposing any lighting. Is that correct? Um, we, I think we would like to do lighting. We're just, we're just not ready for it yet. And I'm trying to think. I almost think there's lighting. There's lighting. The one by. There's there's lighting on the artisan's hand sign beside it. Yes. And if. Yep, and that's the same exact kind of lighting we were thinking. And if uh members would approve we could indicate that they could use mat one or two matching goosenecks okay. black goosenecks to, that that mimic the artisan hand lighting yeah we would just need the um for the permit purposes you wouldn't need to come back to design review um, but we would need the details on the actual light fixture, including how many lumens the, the lamp or bulb inside emits, because we'd actually have to evaluate the entire parcel for the amount of okay. light, exterior lighting that's already on the building. Um, but I think if we get, you know, if you wanted to get the permit issued for the sign, because yep. they okayed the, that style of lighting. If you stuck within that, you could come back for the sign permit when you're ready and we can do that separately or we can do it as part of this one if you wanna wait on the sign for a little bit till you have that information. No, I think we'll just continue through and then if we decide we wanted to add that, we can just reapply a permit for that. Perfect. We could say either a single or two black gooseneck fixtures matching the artisan's hand could be used at, at their option. I'd be okay with, with one. Um, it looks like it might be a little crowded with two, but I'd be fine with one. Okay. Okay. You're right. It's, it's a smaller sign. So that would, that would certainly give you enough lighting. Doing some blackout editing. <laughs> I have a question. Is there a way for me to see the picture that you guys have for the logo only because um, it did get changed because the guy who was making our sign said that it stretched it too far just to make sure. So the one that I got from um, the city hall, it was not the correct one, but Jenny said that she sent in the correct one and that it should be on there. Yeah, give me a second. I need to rotate. So that is the image of what it looks like. Can you see the shared screen? Trisha, can you see the shared screen on the Zoom? Yep. yep, I can see it. So that the image looks practically like that, but it's not because he said when it stretched it, it didn't, it wasn't clear enough. So the leaves are actually below, like they're, they kind of swoop right underneath the B up above the end to give it a more clear picture. So the leaves are angled down a little bit more? Yeah, the, yeah, they're just stretched a little bit further down. So that way he said that when it was stretched out, it just didn't read, it didn't read clearly. Okay, so the leaves, you said they're like pointed more off to the sides? Yeah, if you have, I can send you the exact picture. Yeah, okay, I mean, can you email that to me right now? Yeah, hold on uh, once. You, you, Yep, so it's the M. Crandall at Montpelier-vt.org. Um, and I can pull that up while everybody's on right now. And then I'll make sure to print that one off and put it in the file. You said it's M. Crandall? Yep, M. Crandall, M-C-R-A-N-D-A-L-L -L -L yep. at montpelier hyphen vt.org
And we have this one where the leaves are inside. And then there's one where the leaves are out. Yep, it's not that one. Not that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I got the most recent one then. Oh, wait, uh, nope. Nope, that's not it. Okay. Yeah. If that was that one too. Is that the correct one? She said no. There's they they made some sort of tweak to where how the leaves are oriented mm -hmm. so that you could read the words more more easily. So she's gonna email that to me because that was if you look at the first one where it was a square, yep. the leaves are inside. You flip one more where it's just sort of like mm -hmm. the quasi the initial image that's more their logo. Oh yeah, um, the leaves are on the inside, mm -hmm. but I think I don't think that's what she's talking about either. No, give me a minute. Either one is acceptable. Yeah. Well, and again, said, what, whichever one, if they just turned each of two leaves just to give it space away from the lettering would make it certainly readable, whether yeah. it's to the yeah, industry. that's all they did. The uh, the the person who was designing it just said that we needed to have the leaves a little bit further out because going from circle to rectangle, it just made it so you couldn't read it. Yeah, I it started pushing everything together. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm just cleaner. Okay, either yeah. either one is fine. Again, you're just trying to space the leaves away from the letters to give more background color to separate it out. Yeah. So as long as you just get me a copy of that so I can put it in the file, that's fine. <coughs> I, I think that the yes. committee is all fine with it. So they'll go through the um, same list of criteria that they did for the last one. Okay. And again, the list of criteria, number one, the size, location, design, color, texture, lighting, and material of all exterior signs within the design review district shall be compatible with the buildings and structures of the site and surrounding properties acceptable. Where appropriate, signing shall respect the original sign placement and sign bands on a strike structures acceptable. If a building has multiple tenants, there shall be consistency in placement and size among all signs acceptable. It is recommended that sign placement be centered over building entries, not, in, not applicable in this particular location, but it's fine in the proposed location of the sign. Sign installation shall minimize damage to character defining materials on the building, acceptable. In masonry buildings, it's not applicable here. Sign design, color, and typography shall respect historic precedents where appropriate and shall be the appropriate scale for existing and new buildings, acceptable. Sign support structure shall be compatible with the building architecture and must not be overly complex or dominant in and of themselves. This one's applied directly to the sign band. That's acceptable. And the optional change was a single black gooseneck light fixture matching the artisan's hand sign lighting may be installed at an applicant's option. All in favor of the application, members speak their names. Hey, this is Martha. I say yes. Ben says yes. And Steve says yes. So it passes three to zero. All right. Um, so Trisha, I yep. I don't think I have your email. I do have um Denise's. Denise's. Um, so I will email a scanned copy of this recommendation form so that somebody can sign off on the um option on there that that's acceptable to you. Um, and then okay. send us back a copy of that. We'll be able to issue the sign permit. Um, okay, yeah. For some reason, though, and I just wanted to go send that email. It didn't go through, so I must have clicked on something. I must have typed something in incorrectly. Uh, um, so what I can do is I can either give you my email. What was that? No, sorry. I thought you were done. It was weird connection. That's okay. Um, so I can either have Janice send the email as I'm pretty sure she has your email um, or if you can take down my email and just send, shoot me an email and then I can send that to you. 
Uh, okay. Why don't you just give me your email address? If, as long as yep. you don't mind this being broadcast everywhere. Yep. It's T R I C I A T U A R T 89 at gmail.com. Okay. I will email you, Tricia. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. And it looks like we can't approve the minutes mm. because only Martha and Ben are here. Yep. So we'll postpone that to the next meeting. Okay. Okay. And does anyone have any other business at this point? Not for I me. I have three cockatoos that might want to say something. Can you share the picture? Yeah. <gasps> On the back. There you go. So cool. Thank you, Ben. You made our day. Right. Let's see if we can show you this guy here. Oh. Mm -hmm. You have to stand over here. Hold on. It's getting up. They're they're fun. That's awesome. That's amazing. It's amazing halfway around the world and then mm -hmm. they're seeing it. It still boggles the mind. That's Coming in for their treats. Ah. Yep. Oh. Thank you for sharing that, Ben. Yes, thank you. And if, if no thank one... you, you guys have a great night. Okay, thank okay. you. This we should probably uh, adjourn. adjourn the meeting. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll move to adjourn. Yep. <laughs> all in all in favor of adjournment, speak your names. Martha. Ben left. Ben. ben. And Steve, meeting is adjourned.